Episode 54KA Episode 54K, March 3, 2023, Residents Against Wood Smoke Emission Particulates, ROSEP, News and URLs ROSEP Residents, WordPress.com front slash one hyphen March hyphen 2023 hyphen ROS Presidents hyphen PDFS hyphen of hyphen news hyphen posts front slash PDF list of URLs episode 54, scroll down to see PDFs PDFs available for download in order to search using URLs online for entire news articles for residents against with smoke emission particulates or just to read the PDF and click on the URLs of articles. Episode 54J, March 1, 2023, White House Environmental Justice Advisory Committee, WEJAC, unanimously votes to send letter to Environmental Protection Agency urging adoption of lower particulate matter of 2.5 micrometer size, PM 2.5, safe limits. At the March 1, 2023, White House Environmental Justice Advisory Council, WEJAC, hearing, there was a unanimous vote of the council members to have a WEJAC committee draft a letter to the Environmental Protection Agency urging adoption of lower particulate matter of 2.5 micrometer size, PM 2.5, safe limits. The council member who suggested this action based on concerns expressed by commenters to WEJAC was Tom Cormans, Executive Director of Appalachian Voices, in Charlottesville, Virginia. What follows is the comment, submitted in writing, but not given comment time at the meeting, where 25 commenters were given time to speak, about the commenters' two resolutions submitted March 1, 2023, to Wisconsin Conservation Congress. Many commenters at the WEJAC hearing spoke against the practice of greenwashing CCUS by funding businesses which say they can provide carbon capture, carbon capture, utilization and storage whose acronym is CCUS, rather than ending carbon, including PM 2.5, pollution before carbon is emitted. Good afternoon WEJAC Council members. My affiliation is Residents Against Wood Smoke Emission Particulates, rawscpresidents.wordpress.com. I submitted two resolutions to the Wisconsin Conservation Congress today, which explain the environmental justice issue happening in my backyard, my hyper-localized but real backyard. My house is assessed at half the assessment of my wood burning, PM 2.5 emitting neighbor's house, which proves I am low income. My recommendations to the council are included in the two resolutions. Saying wood burning is carbon neutral is an example of greenwashing. Regarding WEJAC council member Tom Corman's suggestion that WEJAC send a letter to the EPA, I commented to the EPA on February 23, 2023, at their hearing and also sent written comments. I recommended the U.S. EPA limit be changed to 8 micrograms per meter cubed annually and 25 micrograms per meter cubed daily to be nearer the World Health Organization limit of 5 micrograms per meter cubed annually. March 1, 2023, to the Wisconsin Conservation Congress. Resolution 1. Wisconsin government should provide citizen scientist residents 2.5 micrometer particulate matter PM 2.5 air quality monitors to end residential wood burning, which emits excessive hyperlocalized PM 2.5 health harm to near neighbors. Requires legislation. Would you support legislative action to provide citizen scientist residents 2.5 micrometer particulate matter PM 2.5? purple air monitors to end residential wood burning, which emits excessive hyperlocalized PM 2.5 harm to health of near neighbors? Requires legislation. Purple air PM 2.5 monitors cost less than $300, with data put on United States, U.S., air now smoke and fire maps. In 2020, U.S. scientists wrote a letter to the U.S. Congress warning against declaring wood burning carbon neutral. PM 2.5 is particulate matter of 2.5 micrometer size. Wood smoke is 90% PM 2.5. Since hyperlocalized PM 2.5 Purple Air website data is available to the general public and government officials 24-7, weekend and overnight readings from yards of near neighbors can be downloaded by government officials during normal working hours, with no need to enter residences to shut down residential wood burning. 
Residential wood burning in U.S. certified wood stoves emit 450 times PM 2.5 as natural gas furnaces. Resolution 2. Wisconsin government should use citizen scientist online data of PM 2.5 residential wood burning emissions from hyperlocalized purple air monitors to enforce ordinance or law to shut down residential wood burning for neighbor health. Requires legislation. Would you support legislative action to use citizen scientist PM 2.5 residential wood burning emissions online data using hyperlocalized purple air monitors to enforce ordinances or laws to shut down residential wood burning for health of neighbors? Requires legislation. Purple air PM 2.5 monitors cost less than $300 with data put on United States, U.S., air now smoke and fire maps. In 2020, U.S. scientists wrote a letter to the U.S. Congress warning against declaring wood burning carbon neutral. PM 2.5 is particulate matter of 2.5 micrometer size. Wood smoke is 90% PM 2.5. Since hyperlocalized PM 2.5 Purple Air website data is available to the general public and government officials 24-7, Weekend and overnight readings from yards of near neighbors can be downloaded by government officials during normal working hours, with no need to enter residences to shut down residential wood burning. Residential wood burning in U.S. certified wood stoves emit 450 times PM 2.5 as natural gas furnaces. Background for both resolutions in 2020, United States, U.S., scientists wrote a letter to the U.S. Congress warning against declaring wood burning carbon neutral. Wood burning emits more PM 2.5 than coal burning. PM 2.5 is particulate matter of 2.5 micrometer size. Wood smoke is 90% PM 2.5. PM 2.5 is the perfect size to infiltrate the human lung producing a cascade of human health problems and early deaths. Residential heat from solar, wind, and heat pumps that can work at low temperatures in Wisconsin during the winter produces negligible particulate matter. Residential wood burning in even United Kingdom, UK, eco-design certified wood stoves, which are comparable to or less polluting than US certified wood stoves, produces 450 times the polluting PM 2.5 as residential natural gas furnaces. This is shown by resident-owned PM 2.5 monitors of near neighbors of residential wood burners. U.S. Environmental Protection Agency, EPA, certification of wood stoves has been a failure in containing PM 2.5 pollution. Hyperlocalized Purple Air PM 2.5 data, also shared on U.S. Air Now Smoke and Fire Maps, is seen by the general public and government officials 24-7, allowing weekend and overnight data downloads from near neighbors' yards in normal working hours, with no need to enter residences to shut down residential wood burning. If U.S. EPA PM 2.5 limits change to 8 micrograms per meter cubed annually and 25 micrograms per meter cubed daily, as expected, in 2023 PM 2.5 polluting limits of residential wood stove use will be redefined. The European Union, EU, in 2022 stopped most subsidies for wood burning. In the UK, 8% of residents burn wood but produce more PM 2.5 in London and other UK areas than traffic. In 2023, the UK London mayor approved regulations of new and refurbished homes in London that effectively regulate wood stoves out of residential use, a movement to regulate PM 2.5 from residential wood burning across the UK. Research papers show harmful effects of wood smoke PM 2.5 on lungs heart, and brain. Optional supporting data. Residents Against Wood Smoke Emission, Particulates, REWSE Presidents, Website and Facebook. Type REWSE Presidents.wordpress.com into a search box to find website with weekly lists of URLs of research and news. REWSE Presidents has 10-minute YouTube and TikTok videos and 30-minute Spotify and Podbean podcasts news health effects of wood smoke and on progress in shutting down world residential wood burning since April 2022. URL scientists warn U.S. Congress against declaring biomass burning carbon neutral May 13, 2020 in Mungo